David, my final question for you is in terms of interview preparation, I always tell my clients, definitely research the company, have those be prepared behavioral questions. Tell me about a time. As we discussed in the previous video, the storytelling techniques and prepare some questions to ask at the end. Is there anything different or any other tip that you give to your clients that will benefit from everyone? Sure. So those 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 are great. Uh, I can elaborate, but uh, but I'm not because th those are those are really good. But a lot of times people are nervous, and I get it. Right? We want that job, and it's okay to be you know, a little. I, I, I would. Uh, I'd be worried if you weren't a little nervous because again, you're a little anxious because you yes. want the job. But so let's put you let's put you at, at ease. Mm -hmm. About about 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour before uh, going on that interview, watch a favorite, your favorite comedian, watch a favorite 30 minute little sitcom, mm -hmm. something that's gonna make you like really belly laugh, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's you know, like Austin Powers movie or something, whatever. Something. But when you when you when you get those endorphins going and you're smiling and you're laughing, it's going to put you at a little bit more at ease before maybe it's maybe it's in the parking lot uh, before your interview in your car and you're watching it on your phone, but it's going to put you a little bit more at ease. And please, please, please. Yeah. No caffeine. Mm hmm. No caffeine the morning before. Um, a lot of people will be like, well, wait a minute. I need that coffee. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, because uh, if you're like me, I got, well, I have a lot of energy. And if I drink coffee, oh my God, my brain and my mouth will not work together. <laughs> yeah. So I highly suggest getting in that fun state, fun state of mind that uh, just that happiness, you're going to come off better during that interview mm. and no caffeine at least about 12 hours before uh that interview i know that might be tough but it'll be beneficial yeah. and in terms of the behavioral question we know that the recruiters or the hiring managers will ask tell me about a time you did this or tell me about a time you accomplished how should they approach to that those questions Sure. And I'm going to go back to that storytelling is, is if you have about five or six stories already lined and they're called stories because you can relate that there are things that you can just roll off yeah. because they, and you're going to find that a couple of those will work for various questions. Yeah. So uh, sometimes even more than that. So make sure that you have those, make sure they have a beginning, a uh, middle and end, just like a book does kind of like you know telling a story even if the end didn't end up maybe that project didn't go so well but you learned something from it uh everything doesn't have to be that you were perfect in that story that you uh you know uh, that you told especially if you learned something yeah. that you can be better for it Next time, I think a lot of times we think we only have to give stories of things that we're, again, amazing at. And that just isn't the case. They're looking for real, real life, real scenarios. And sometimes things don't go as planned. So they want to know how you might have handled that. And other clients told me that we all tell the, the job seeker, the star method in the situation, task, action, and result. But another uh, speaker told me about another R, which is reflection, which you mentioned that what did we learn from this and what's the reflection and how we go forward from this? Oh, yeah. You know, again, um, maybe, maybe it finished, but there were some bumps in the road. They want to know. Again, I'm going to repeat it. They're, they want to know how are you going to you know, feel or implement things. And if you're just having a nice conversation and you're smiling about it because you can reflect, hey, in the moment, that was a big deal. Yeah. But you really learned how to do this so that next time when it occurred, you know what to look mm -hmm. for, you know what to change or bring other people on. So, And that is really powerful because uh, now they know how you're going to be able to react. And is there any specific question you recommend job seekers to ask at the end of the interview? Well, you better come with some and mm -hmm. you don't, you don't ask, uh, tell me about the culture. You better have already done your homework. Um, you know, 
what here here's what I'd mention. Um, if a lot of times when we're interviewing, we're going to be interviewing with uh, somebody that could be a peer, okay? Because you know maybe there's multiple people. You better ask him or her some really good questions about, hey, so in the first you know sixty days, ninety days, yeah. um, what did you struggle with? Because if you're interviewing with somebody that could be your peer, they have more impact on you getting hired than you would believe, you know, because again, they're going to, would you, you know, they're going to ask him or her, Hey, would you work with that David uh, guy after interviewing today? Mm -hmm. So you better treat everybody during that interview process. Like they have an important role in you getting hired because they do. Mm -hmm. Those are great tips, David. I, I hope, again, the job seekers will implement those in their interview next time. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation. Those are great practical and uh, implementing tips that you gave. And I hope job seekers will use it. So if you have any other tips in terms of interview preparation, please leave them below. And tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. And with that, David, again, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch and let's uh, have a chat later on. Bye, everyone.